Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to take control of Sublime Text 2 visual appearance in a greater way. So uh, you may have noticed that my Sublime Text 2 might look a little different. Uh, in fact, I have these like tab colors that are different. This is black back here instead of gray. If we do a find and replace, it's going to look a little bit different than yours. It's because I have a theme installed that's called Soda Dark. There's also Soda Light that's the same thing, just a light version. Uh, but themes can really change the way your uh, your page or your Sublime Text 2 interface looks, and it could, you know, be something that you'd want to personalize to have however it fits your mood of, of coding. Personally, I like the black tabs because I usually have a dark background, so it just goes together really well. So what I want to do is I want to add a new theme, and it's one I've been using at my office the past couple of weeks, and I've really liked it. So let's get into how we can add a new theme. So what I want to do is I want to do Command Shift P to open up package control, and I'm going to do package install package. And now here I want to look for I'm just going to type in theme, and you'll notice there's a whole lot of themes here. Um, you know what I would recommend checking out these pages um, to see exactly what they'll look like because it looks like there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's even a quick theme switcher for Sublime Text or a theme color scheme generator, some different color schemes. You have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, and in fact, if you're looking, you'll have soda. I don't actually have it in mind because I have it installed already. So I'm going to install Nexus is the one I like and sort of an Android flavored a little bit. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to click it. And once this is finished installing, you'll see Nexus is successfully installed. And then we're going to want to enable that uh, theme. So we want to enable this. Uh, if it's the first time you've installed a theme, you could probably just go to that package. But since I already have one installed, I'm going to show you a, a way to do it through the user settings. So we're going to go to settings, user. And you'll notice I have color scheme in here and preview on click is true. Uh, I want to add a theme. And my theme is going to be uh, Nexus. So uh, if you remember before and we wanted to change preferences, we went into uh, settings default to look at whatever things were in the JSON file first. If I search for theme, it's going to tell me what theme I'm using. And actually, I just realized I am using the default Sublime Text theme. So you can see this Sublime Text default. Uh, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste this into my user preferences, just like we did before. I'm going to paste it right here because it already has the comma. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about that. And uh, we can just delete this word default and write Nexus in here. I'm going to save it. And before I can even get done saving it, you can see it's updated. So now I have these tabs up top here that look sort of like the Android UI. Um, this folders totally look different. And it's been customized. And personally, I like this one. When I make a change to a, a, a file, um, let's say I make a change, you can see that underline turns orange until you save it. Um, you save it, it's blue again. Uh, to me, this is a better visual cue that something needs to be saved or hasn't been saved yet. Okay, so this is how you want to switch your theme using uh, Sublime Text 2. Alternatively, if we wanted to uh, use Soda again, we could also come back to our user settings and we could type in uh, where I had theme, Nexus, Sublime. You could type in Soda and then space, dark, save that. And you can see it sort of looks funky, it's sort of wacky. Uh, it's because Sublime Text 2 usually will update everything once you uh, close and reopen it. So if you're getting this sort of weird look, close and reopen it, and it will uh, get it looking nice. But personally, I'm going to leave Nexus up because I like the way it looks. And I'll have to restart my Sublime Text before everything's totally back to normal. But I got a theme installed, it looks great. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up on Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Uh, once again, this is Scott with LevelUpTuts, and thanks for watching.